joining us in the studio tonight is San Mig Super Coffee Mixers guard Justin Melton. Good evening, Justin, and welcome, finally! Damn. Not on the phone! Not yeah. on the phone, but welcome to the Sports Desk uh, here in the studio. Yes. And of course, after winning the Grand Slam. How yes. about that? Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, obviously, this is, uh, you know, you entered the PBA, but before you were able to come here and join the draft, the workouts, and all that kind of stuff, how did you find out, that, first of all, that there was a professional league in the Philippines uh, to begin with? And how did, how, tell us that story and how you, you managed to find your way here. Yeah, um, I first heard about the PBA uh, through some friends in Hong Kong. Uh, we were playing outdoors, yeah. and uh, they happened to be Filipino. And they're like, man, you should try PBA. And, uh, you know, from there, you know, one thing led to another, and I came out here. So. Okay. All right, well, and of course, you just got through a Grand Slam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> when were you drafted? Last year. Uh, just yeah. last year? Yeah. Yeah. 13th pick. 13th pick. 13th pick. 13th pick. Yeah. And then you get to play under um, the great and legendary coach Tim Cohn. Yes. And there was one, the last game of the previous conference, a lot of people were surprised that coach sat out his starters. And you finished the game with Alex Maliari. Well, some of the guys on the bench, and of the course, the second unit. The second, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and next thing you know, you guys won another championship. And when coach put you in in those last minutes, what was going through your mind, considering the trust that he gave you guys? Um, just really taking advantage of the time um, with our second unit. We're really we emphasize on defense a lot. So coach Tim was like, "Go out there and just do what you guys do," and luckily we pulled it out. So. Of the three championships you won this uh, this past season, which do you remember the most? Obviously, you know the last one was the most recent, but yeah. which is, was the most meaningful one to you? Uh, I think the first one, yeah. the All Filipino. Yeah. yeah. Even, even though um, you probably arguably played better in the in the final two conferences that you did than you did in the All Filipino conference. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's still it's All Filipino, and yeah. um, that was the first one. I think that's why it okay. means the most. So. All right. Okay, well, let's talk about your teammates for a little bit here. Of course, you get to play alongside James Yap. You have Mark Pingris. You have those guys who are basically, yeah. I mean, they are big names in the PBA. And then you come along, and all of a sudden, everyone starts talking about the new guard, Justin Melton, because I don't know how you jumped that high, but <laughs> I, I would like to know your secrets as well. I think Gino would like oh, to Oh, yeah. Like, I, 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 <laughs> one, one time, I would love to come down a break and boom! Just, you know, catch an alley-oop and just throw one down. But, yeah, I mean, that, a lot of people were asked when, when we announced that you were going to be guessing on the show. Yeah. A lot of people were wondering, how does he jump so high? Like, what, what's, what's, what's your secret? Do you always have this ability or is it something that you worked on? Uh, I think it's something I worked on. Uh, I couldn't always jump. I think yeah. as a... A kid, I can remember like always trying to touch my ceiling in my house and stuff. So just always <laughs> jumping, um, but there is no secret. It's yeah. Just repetition and. See, so Sorry, Gino. most most <laughs> most of us growing up would like, tap the, the the ceiling of the of the door, yeah, yeah. but you were aiming for the ce for the for the ceiling. Like, we were just sitting here trying to tap yeah. the, the top part of the door, but you would aim for the ceiling. Yeah. Wow. But okay, <laughs> take us through the moment the first time you were to get up there and actually you know slam one home. Yeah, I was outside in my front yard uh, yeah. by myself, and I was trying like any other day. And for some reason, I got it that one day, and I ran inside. I told my mom, I was like, get the camera, get the camera. <laughs> you know, of course, I couldn't do it again. But uh, yeah, that was the first time. How old were you? I was 15. 15 yeah, years old? 15. OK. So. Are, like, you know, we were talking before before uh, coming on air, and. Uh, we're talking about some of the guys that you, you, you that Jessica mentioned a while ago, that some of the, your teammates. And you said that, um, that Joe Devance is actually is the guy that took you under his wing yeah. as, a, as a rookie, um, you know, and, and basically on and off the court has been like, like your, your kuya, your, your older brother. Right. Um, talk about how you know, that materialized. Um, Joe, just since the first day of practice, he's just been welcoming. You know, he made the transition for me. And, Sure, for the other rookies also, just easy, you yeah. know, being the new guys on the team, the new system. Uh, he was just that guy, you know, you can go to and ask any questions. And if you need a laugh, too, Joe's the guy. So. <laughs> he has a lot of good yeah. jokes. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Have you heard him sing? I have. <laughs> I have. And you wish you did it. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the man, he can sing. <laughs> all love, Joe, all love. Anyway. <laughs> you know, um, a lot of people also talk about, you know, the, the, the guards, the backcourt of SMC. I mean, obviously, the, the SMC has a, a, such a fantastic, solid front court, but that backcourt, you know, the, you, have, you have PJ and James, uh, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, you know, you have Mark yourself come in as well. I mean, this, this backcourt is so deep that how, what, what, what's it like in practice when you push the starters, uh, you know, to the limit in, in practice and, you got, and you're trying to fight for more time on the court? Yeah, well, in practice, I don't think it's um, we're competing for time. It's mm -hmm. just more of really trying to better each other. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is competitive, though, and it's all, you know, for the best for the team. We really don't mind who's on the court, who's scoring. Like, we just want to win. So, under Coach Tim's system, though, with you guards, of course, you guys. I'm sorry, that lineup is just so hard to beat. No, yeah. Um, when you jostle for position, like especially in practice, when you guys get to the games, how do you know Coach Tim is going to rotate you guys? How do you know which guy is going to have to step up in Coach Tim's system when there's so many of you who are so lethal on the floor? Yeah, um, you don't. That's the thing. Um, you just always have to be ready with uh, Coach Tim Cohn. Like, some games, like I didn't play, or in other games, uh, James played less minutes. Mm -hmm. so it, you just have to be ready at all times. So. How about that slam dunk competition? And you and uh, Papa Ray Guevara just <laughs> absolutely <laughs> brought the house down uh, with all those uh, all those fantastic uh, showcase of dunks that you guys had uh, during the All Star break. Uh, what was that moment like for you? You won the, you won the competition, co-winners co with, uh, with Ray. Yeah, it was unreal. Uh, I've always wanted to participate in an official dunk contest. and Just being there and having fun with it, it was awesome. The whole weekend was awesome. So. Um, this, year's, this year's PBA um, season is, well, the, the break in between uh, last season and then the upcoming season is going to be a little bit longer uh, because of FIBA and all of that. Uh, what do you think, personally, do you think, uh, do you need to do to improve your game even more so for for next year, because you know that that team you have with with uh, with, with SMC is, is so solid already. Mm. But how do you think you can improve yourself plus improve the team? I think um, just trying to better the things that we already know as far as like the triangle is concerned. Yeah. It's a tough offense. It's so complex. So um, I guess that would be it. Just bettering the things that we already oh, know. How about for you, though? Like, personally, do you think you need to work on your uh, for me, your Do you uh, think you need to jump higher? I don't maybe, know. Maybe like, no, uh, I think confidence yeah. for me. Uh, I feel like I'm just now getting comfortable being out there on the floor. So uh, confidence for me. So you mean that entire time that you were the talk of the town during the finals or any time during the conference when you're absolutely amazing, mm -hmm. you still had you didn't have that much confidence then? Uh, not so much. I, oh, I found myself uh, <laughs> hesitating a lot yeah. on um, okay. you know, getting to the rim or even taking shots. Uh, my coach, Johnny A, was always telling me, man, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah. You know, just, it's not good to second guess yourself when you're on the court. And yeah. um, I think I did a lot of that. Uh, you know, <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever see clips of Johnny A uh, when, he was, yeah. when he used to play? I have. I have. What are your but thoughts of the flying air? He's smooth, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's smooth. He's, yeah. he's, a, he's a good guy to listen to. Yeah. yeah. Not, not, not yeah. a bad person to be your, to be your mentor yeah. on, on, that, on that team. Definitely. Definitely. And on so. that note, I cannot wait to see you play when you're absolutely confident with yourself. Because <laughs> seriously, if you're second guessing yourself in those past conferences, yeah. I am sure you'll be insane because when you actually get your group on. It's, you're sort of like a, um, a tweener guard. Uh, kind of. I mean, I see you as a little bit of a one. Sometimes it could be could play a two also. Uh, but at five, what, five nine, five ten, five eleven, five eleven. My yeah. bad. Five eleven. Five <laughs> five eleven. Let's put it right yeah. there. Five eleven. Sorry, 11. things are different from uh, Gino's perspective. <laughs> to me, everybody's five nine, five ten. No, but at five foot eleven, obviously, yes. you might. Do you think that okay? I I need to be more of a point guard, be more of a playmaker for this team, rather than be. Be uh, be the number. Uh, be a two guard. Yeah, me personally, I'd like to be that um, person who creates. Yeah. Uh, we have enough shooters on the team. People who can, you know, really score. Uh, I enjoy getting the ball to them. So, yeah. 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 
All right. Well, a while ago, we did ask people to send us questions for you on Twitter. So are you ready, Justin? I am. Yeah. <laughs> she screened some of them, not all. No, I like the story. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. All right. Now, here are some of the questions we got for um, Justin Melton via Twitter. From, is this T-Rex or Trex? Let's call him T-Rex. Sounds better. <laughs> T-Rex. Thoughts of Pringle, your best buddy, joining PBA Draft. Do you think he'll... Uh, be picking the first round or number one overall? Yeah, definitely. Number Pringle's one is going to go number one overall for sure. Yeah. Well, what makes you say? What makes you so confident that it's going to be Pringle and not Manny Pacquiao? <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough call there, but uh, I've seen Pringle play ever since we were young. Yeah. We grew up together, and I'm just excited for him to come. Okay. Yeah. So. All right, from Ward, what's your secret why your vertical is so high? Oh, well, you you, you kind of answered that one already. Um, Balut. Balut? <laughs> wow, okay. I ate a lot of Balut. Really? <laughs> no, I've actually had it once. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to get you to try that. Yeah. <laughs> from, from Hash Hagonoi, uh, Nash, sorry, Nash Hagonoi says, mm. hardest guards to defend in the PBA? I'd say Jason Castro. Yeah. Yeah, he's extremely fast. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's, it's hard to guard him, definitely. Good thing Baraka's your teammate then. I know. <laughs> I just got to yell help whenever I need it. So. Help, help. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you were, let's, let's, let's run them down. If you were to name yeah. five, five guards uh, that you have to defend, could be your teammates as well. Okay. Uh, that, that you have a difficult time guarding in, in the PBA. I would say Jason first. Yeah. Mark. Okay, Maroka. there you go. That's, that's what it's I was tough guarding him yeah. in practice. Um, Cassio? Jamie yeah. Cassio? Um, Alibog, okay. also. Jamie. Once he gets going, man, he's well, unstoppable. Well, when he gets on that three-point line, yeah. it's done. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I would say to tie between James and PJ, because they're kind of similar. And but they're a little, a little bit bigger. Yeah. And they are they can score like, yeah. anyway. so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, for Omar's question, you already answered this a while ago. When was the first time you dunked? You were 15 years old, yes? Yes. Okay. 15 years Outside. Old. Outside. With no one to see. No one Nobody. <laughs> Nobody to see. From Mark Luna, Mark asks, uh, why the jersey number two? There's no reason. There is no reason. Yeah, you're you're the was, rookie. It was the available yeah. number. <laughs> they gave me the leftover jersey. So. You're like, okay, he's a rookie, yeah. whatever. You know, yeah, here, you know, take this one. Yeah, okay. so, yeah. But did you, did you have any rookie initiation stuff that you had to do? Like carry the bags, you know, wash clothes? Yeah, no, I had to sing. You had to sing? I had to karaoke. Yeah, well, that's we, not so bad. That's actually kind of fun. Not for you? Okay. No. <laughs> Who chose the song? Isaac, me and Isaac. Okay. okay. We sang Boys to Men. And, uh, it was a like team bonding session thing. at our coach's house. So. Coach Tim's house? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Did Coach Tim sing too? No, it was just us. Oh. <laughs> I would classic if we saw if we catch Coach Tim singing anything. And the next time he gets on the show. Then yeah, you should I'm, get him to sing next time. Okay, next time. Yeah. Then. We're going to take note of that. But you guys also had a karaoke uh, during the victory party after the Grand Slam. We did. How was that like partying with the big uh, San, Mig, uh, San Miguel Corporation uh, family over there and just not too far away from here? Yeah, it was awesome. So many people, uh, same fans that come to every game, yeah. they were there. So it's nice to, you know, get to know them personally, yeah. you know, so it was oh. cool. Okay. Right. From Alvin Demapilis, what position are you more comfortable okay. playing, one or two? Um, the one. The one. I like playing the one. I like creating. I like the, the ball in my hands. So. All right. So growing up, who did you emulate? Like I gotta play like this guy. Like you know, this 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 uh, point guard is the type of guy I want to want to what type of player I want to be like. Allen Iverson. Oh. Yeah. 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 He's uh, from the same area, so okay. kind of already had that influence on me. He's you know gonna, he's gonna be he's here. He's gonna be here. Yeah, I saw that just today. Yeah. He's gonna be so, here in, in November. Yeah. We're going to try and get him on the show. You, yeah. you come here, too. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much for That's joining right. us. I know you're flying home tomorrow at 6.30 in the morning. Yes, 6.30. So thank you for spending your last night in the Philippines yeah, with us you. until you go back and for the PBA season. Yes. And uh, if you have a message to all the legions of SMC fans out there, you can address them right now and uh, thank them for their support, if you wish. Yeah. Just thank you guys for the support uh, for the whole year. And uh, we'll continue to work hard for you guys. So.
Uh, thank you. Thanks, thank you very Justin. much, Quick right. Melt. Uh, you, you like the name Quick Quick it's Melt? It's cool. I don't mind it. Yeah. Yeah. It's cheesy, but. <laughs> It's cheesy. You are absolutely <laughs> correct, but in yeah. more ways than one. Yeah. Yeah. Right, thank you, man, and safe All trip right. tomorrow.